Making a trip that includes sun and sand is in order? Uh, yeah. Yes, of course I do. <laughs> we know just the place to get out of town. Island Travel Group's Jennifer Whalen, fresh off a trip, I should say. Yeah. Welcome back to America. Thank you. <laughs> ah, you're always good to be home. No, yeah. no, no it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Not always. It's always good to go, and then by the time you get it. So Turks and Caicos. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about it. Well, I feel like these days, everybody's looking for something new and a new island to visit. And just over a year ago, four of our favorite resorts turned all-inclusive. And so we needed to get there and we needed to check them out and see what's changed and that kind of thing. So we went to Turks and Caicos and, and visited a, a handful of resorts, actually. So a nice portfolio of seven resorts that we have, anything from moderate to luxury, um, private islands even and things like that so just about anything so it's just great because a lot of us we took our staff and a lot hadn't been to Turks and Caicos and they said it's their favorite island so that's really? a good sign I have a question this is more of a geography lesson and I really don't know yeah. is it two separate islands like one is Turks one is Caicos is this like a Champagne Urbana situation oh that's a good question it's actually the Turks and Caicos island so it's actually like a string of islands not okay. a, not a lot of islands but a, a few islands so it, are, at any one time are you in Turks and then you can move to Caicos, or it's all just Turks and Caicos? Not and you really. Can't you in. have like um, Pro Pro Providencialis, which is okay. the main island, and then you have like Ambergris K and Little Ambergris K, and so you've got little islands that are all make up. Both names Caicos. cover all the islands. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a great question. Well, and what a tough day on the job, right? <laughs> Checking these places out. Yeah. So, what were some of your takeaways? Well, I would say that, so in Turks and Caicos, the islands are pretty flat. So you're not going to get those peaks and valleys, less tropical vegetation. Um, so that's one thing to take away. Another thing is a really fun thing to do. So we've started planning a lot of like yachting vacations. And what I recommend, and this is good for St. Lucia too, but we're on Turks and Caicos. You can rent, one of the big things to do, they have a lot of marinas. And like wealthy people from the States actually have homes there and they have their boats parked there. But even if you don't, you can stay at one of the resorts and you can rent a boat for the day. So we would see like families that had rented big pontoon boats with like water slides off the back, oh you know, coming out of the marina by our resort and headed out to the water for the day. The water is really shallow. So as long as you know what you're doing, they all have depth finders and things like that. But it was really fun. Or we'd see like a huge yacht or we would see a huge fishing boat. So whatever your interest is, like here's, you see the beer, I soon reach. <laughs> So they're like they have a f they have a few beers they make. They don't almost everything on the island is all about tourism. So there's no like big thing there as far as um, money generating. But they have three local beers and I can't remember all the names. But like one is I soon reach and I said <laughs> my kids would think that was like the beer for me because I'm always <laughs> late. I'm like I soon reach. I'm gonna say that from now on. Like that's like my beer. And it looks like several of these resorts. <laughs> if you stay at one, you can actually use the amenities for multiples. Yes, the Turks and Caicos collection is what, is what our main focus was on this vacation, and that is a collection of four resorts, and three of those are on Providencialis. They, they, they call it Provo, and you can stay at one and play at all three, and the best part about that is the best food on Provo is at the resorts. Like, those are the best place to eat. All the best chefs are at the resorts. So you go to the resorts to eat. And you can go to all different kinds of resorts. You don't have to just hang out at your own. But the nice thing is, these three resorts and the Turks and Caicos collection are dotted throughout the island, and there's complimentary transportation day and night, and they all have amazing award-winning chefs. Oh, nice. So you never get bored. When's the best time to go? I would say, I mean, the most affordable time is hurricane season, and I know <laughs> that that's I'd say not like whatever Friday would probably be a yeah, great time exactly. to go if we could Friday. pull that up. But, um, but, you know, winter's a good time, although it does get kind of cool. This is located between the Dominican and the Bahamas, east of Cuba, so it can, the water can get a little cooler in the winter. Um, you know, it's a year-round destination, but they do, I noticed too, almost all of the hotels heat their pools. So that's really nice. nice. So at least yeah. be warm water yeah. somewhere. But so I would right. say some, you know, spring, fall, summer is probably the very best time to go. Perfect. Okay. Sounds amazing. Thank you. Let's go. There's a look at Jennifer's website with the Island Travel Group, which we'll connect you with over at CILiving.tv.